it's been a joy for me, and I was so happy that uh, Dr. Conti came to our school. I'm so happy that I learned about it because, but I, at the same time, I'm sad because how many kids before I knew about it that I could have helped, but I didn't know any better. I didn't know about it. Sometimes you'd had children that they said they were fine, but I knew they weren't. His teacher was having issues with him not being still and not wanting to complete his work. He would get restless, he would get frustrated. Basically, he couldn't figure out reading and he couldn't really figure out math. He, he was just, it was like he was just struggling with everything. Even though he's a very bright student, when it came down to actual schoolwork, he would get easily distracted where he would just give up on his work. We would sit and it was 30 minutes of complete tears over and over and over. Once he had to put it on paper or he had to get a task done when it came to reading or writing, he would be the last one done when he should really be one of the first ones. He didn't want to go and sit bored all day and stare at stuff he didn't understand. He was getting headaches really frequently, sometimes several times a week that were bad enough for me to pick him up from school. He even had a headache where he blacked out and we had to call an ambulance. I lost my focus and I couldn't find my place. They couldn't find anything. They couldn't pinpoint anything. They couldn't say, oh, it's processing disorder or, or they have an attention disorder or anything like that. But you know that there's something wrong. He was referred to as maybe being ADD. Initially they were saying he's got to be dyslexic. I would hear things, he just needs to try harder to see. Um, nothing's wrong with him, he might have astigmatism. We went to pediatricians, we went to ophthalmologists, I mean we went to pretty much anybody that you could think of and just got told the same thing every time which was, he's fine. He was so frustrated because we were all so frustrated too. So in addition to his frustration with learning, he was frustrated with the fact that we were all frustrated with it. So it was just this huge ball of like, <laughs> The child really is trying to make everybody happy and he's working really hard, um, or she, and um, it's just not coming to them. And they can't explain what the symptoms are. Kids, they don't know how to tell you what it is necessarily that's going on. They're not going to say, hey, the words are moving, or hey, this is, they're just going to say, this is just one big jumble to me. And they don't really know how to explain it to you because they don't know what really normal versus abnormal is. You kind of feel like you're the, the lone nut out in the woods, you know? I mean, you've tried 20 different places and everybody's telling you your kid's fine, but he's telling you he's not. I mean, what parent, you know, wants to hear, oh, your child has ADD or, you know, you know, they need to label them on something and your child just doesn't work hard and your child, you know, doesn't try. And we would say things to people and I would do research and I couldn't find anything. People would think they'd have something, they wouldn't have anything, and it might be this, and it was never really anything. And we didn't know where to turn. The first concept to understand is that it's not about vision. It's really about how the two eyes work together or how they don't work together and how, what it, how it affects the uh, individual's um, reading process, how it can slow them down. They were saying, well, he needs to be tested for dyslexia and he needs to be tested for all of these other things. And someone came along and said, now wait just a second, before we do that, we think it might be this. I decided, you know, I want to see if there's what options are out there for me. And that's when I heard about Dr. Conti and I made my first initial visit. And Dr. Conti did ran tests on him and come to find out he did have it. One of the most beautiful things is when the light goes off in their head, they finally understand that there's a legitimate reason why the kid's struggling. When they realize that they're not stupid, there really has been something that's been in their way keeping them from being successful. He put the glasses on in the office and they, they set a piece of paper in front of him and he said, what do you see? And he looked up at me like big eyed and said, these words don't move. I can create it on an individual to show them what the child is suffering. And I can also, while I'm in the room, do a reading test to show them how much the, um, the whatever therapy we're gonna use, be it glasses or vision therapy, will automatically improve their reading skills. And now that we found out, you know, my son has this and that there's something we can do about it and that it's not permanent, it gave me a lot of hope and honestly I got emotional at his first visit with Dr. Conte. One of the goals is, is actually to 
make sure that we can help everybody with that frustration level and get them some good results quickly. To me, it was like a big hope. Like, wow, okay, there's something else that I can do. That is such a relief to them. It takes so much weight off their shoulders because now they've got a reason why this, this really smart child has been struggling and they've got some answers and they've got a plan and something that can resolve the uh, situation. So we went to see Dr. Conte and he prescribed him some bifocals to help strengthen his eyes and then also vision therapy. She got her glasses and it was like night and day. You could immediately see that, oh, I'm gonna learn how to read and I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do this well. And he didn't fight about it, he didn't fuss about it, it was like, I'm gonna do this. She said they're reading at nighttime just changed. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't any more struggle. Come on, you have to read. You have to do your homework reading. It was, I want to read. Things got, you know, noticeably better. Everybody, I mean, teachers and everybody noticed an immediate difference. She went from like 38 words a minute to 68 words a minute, just putting the glasses on. The bifocals and the vision therapy and the work that he's done and we've done in the family has significantly improved his life. Parents come back and they're just like, oh, thank you for sending us to Dr. Conti. It technically was a life changer. I think if I didn't have this, that we'd be looking at a kid that was super stressed out all the time, that I feel like that would have just compounded on itself and gotten worse and worse and worse. He would never have been able to figure it out. He would have struggled his entire educational career. If they leave first grade week, they're going to struggle. Go check it out. There's absolutely no negative to it whatsoever. You know, that's just part of your, if you sign up to be a teacher, then that's what you take on. Take care of your kiddos.